Hello, my friends. I apologize for the different screen going on, but I think it's the best way for me to show you what the heck I'm actually doing with the painting because the other, the other screen doesn't doesn't really show the painting. It, it, it has like a weird, a weird BBD going on. So I'm going to use my normal everyday stream setup to show you my my puppetry. But before before the people from Reaper leave the stream because they don't like me because I am not Anne, which I understand. I'm not quite as sexy as she is. She's right. You can ask me questions on color theory because I am quite well versed in it. I actually made extensive use of it today while painting this lady. There was a there was a lot of color theory involved. We are uh, we're getting her to we're getting her painted. To be fair, like the entire painting except the eyes took me like two hours, so I'm very proud of it. Hello Quindley! Hello Barl! I actually just discovered Quindley that your name isn't Quindley. Your name is Quindy. I've been calling you for like three years, Quindley, because I misread your nickname once, the first time you came in the stream, and I never bothered reading it again. So that's incredible. I heard, I heard, I heard Anne call you Quindy, and I was like, wait, why is Anne misreading Quindley's nickname? So I reread your nickname, and <laughs> it's Quindy. So I have been misreading it. <laughs> hello, Battle. Hello, Varl. Hello, Quindy. Hello, Joe. Hello, Gary. Hello, Midwest. Yes, it is outrageous. I know, and I apologize. But yeah, this is what we've been doing on my puppet stream today. We've been getting lots of stuff doing, doing, done lately. This is another modular that, we, that I've been working on for my Patreon. It sounds very weird now, right? Well, I'll keep calling you Quindley then. Okay, that sounds good. But yeah, this is another puppet that I've been working on for my Patreon. Been having a lot of fun on this dude. Uh, this is another puppet. You saw me paint this lady uh, the other day. I was trying to get her finished. I still haven't managed, but whatever. So here we are, once more, onto the bridge. Today we're going to be painting a lot of OSL, because uh, I, I put my hand in my box of mi Reaper Minis, and uh, I pulled out this guy. Like, you know, like, I'm... Have you seen Toy Story? I'm like, uh... I'm like, uh... I'm like the... The minis are the green aliens, and my hand is the... is the divine... Uh, divine thing that picks them up. It's like, I just literally reach into the box and pull something out. Really? Wow. Man, it's incredible. Like, three years has been. And I've never figured out your nickname. Hello, Adgar. Thank you, Green User. Thank you so much. The not Aragorn. That's what I thought, too. I was like, yeah, this looks like Aragorn. Man. All right. So, we're going to do this paint job with a few colors, really. And uh, it's going to be impressive, I hope. So let's begin by getting ourselves a blue and a, a, I mean a blue, yeah, a blue, a blue, a blue, a blue, I mean a black. Let's start with a black, because you know, black is useful, white also is useful. So we're going to have our two values, Ooh. then we can get uh, an orange. A dark orange to start with because it's gonna have to cover over the black if I can find my trusty rust red from Reaper rust brown from Reaper I will be happy you guys need to buy this paint I know they it's out of production you need to buy 10 of it I don't care it's the best paint Reaper has ever made not even joking you can do so many things with this color it's just stupid like it's such a good color such a good color so yeah we got rust brown uh, well, a blue. Let's go with a blue. A blue. There we go. And that's it for now. Next up, we're gonna have fun. 
You're gonna, you're gonna love this. This paint job is gonna be so dumb and yet look so good by the end of it. You're gonna be impressed. So, what is the torchlight hitting? I don't know, but uh, we're gonna try to figure it out as we go. This is how I always do OSL. I always block in the light from the OSL source pretty much immediately as I start the paint job. I don't bother doing anything that isn't this. And the reason is because the best way to get a light source to look realistic and fit your paint job is by having it inserted in the paint job from the beginning of it. Because if you don't, and you paint the model normally, and then you light up with the OSL, it's gonna look very weird. Like the light from a, a torch, for example, if you wanna paint it, it's not like it happens upon the normal light from the sun. It, it's its own light with its own rules and its own things going on. So getting it right is very important. Okay, so we got the BBD. Now we can do the BBD, which is the cool side. So again, this entire paint job will be in, in blue and orange, pretty much. You're not gonna see any other color than those. Right now the colors are very dark, so you can barely see them on camera. But I'm gonna start pushing them up in a moment. Yes. I have uh, a lot of videos on my Patreon on how to do OSL. It, OSL, like, and I apologize for the for the lack of humbleness, but OSL is one of the things I paint best. I am really, really good at it. So I really enjoy it too. Which is funny because when I started painting, I actually hated OSL. Very good, very good, very good. All right. I should probably paint the light source before I paint anything else, for you guys especially. Like, for me, it doesn't really matter, but for anybody that isn't versed in OSL, not having the origin of the light can be quite annoying because they, it's difficult to understand. So, let me do that. How did you learn to switch from after OSL to before OSL? Uh, what do you mean? 
Ah, doing the OSL after? No, I never did it after. I tried it a couple of times, and I always like felt like it didn't look right. So I simply just started imagining the light source from the the OSL to be like a real light source, which it is. And that automatically made me switch from uh, painting the model entirely and then applying the light to applying the light as I paint the model. Separating the paint job in two, in a way. One, uh, one part, one part, uh, one part uh, OSL, which would be shadow, and another part uh, normal lighting. Like, for example, this guy, there is another me that I've painted recently. Same thing, I I started painting him by separating the area of shadow, from which would be this one, from the area of light. I normally painted the area of light, ignoring the OSL, because there is no OSL here, just painted normally. And then what was shadow, I relit from the side with the, with the OSL. And if you look at it, it looks like it has an OSL on it. I'm gonna use some fluo paints because I like them. And they're gonna make them, the fire look very intense. Okay, when this dries, I can do more things on it. What's the difference between zenithal and genital? Um, genital is from the bottom, zenithal is from the top. Pretty obvious, huh? One aims at the genital, one aims at the zenith. There is nothing in life better than Rust Red, man. Rust Brown. This color is so godly, man. I love this paint so much. Sorry, that, 
Yeah, since I'm, we're using my own stream thing, I'm getting the notification for my stream. So thank you for the follow, Novak. I don't know if you're watching here, but... If you are watching this stream and you followed on my own, you are a beautiful person and uh, I love you very much. After blocking in the two areas that I want to have normal light, I mean black shadow light and uh, OSL, all I gotta do is just insist now on the lighting and normally paint the area of OSL. And by normally, I mean the light is coming from the from the from the torch rather than some points in the sky. But the idea is that I'm painting it normal, like I would painting any mini. The trick to paint OSL is to not think that you're painting OSL. That is the, the biggest trick I can give you. Because you're not painting some fancy advanced techniques, you're just normally highlighting the model like it's supposed to be lit. If you know how to highlight a mini normally, you know how to paint OSL. The same thing. Okay. 
to you, Don. Hello, hi. How you doing? Sick, tired, and not with the family anymore, but good otherwise. How are you? I'm good. Before, uh, it was my first Christmas uh, family meeting. It wasn't my own family. But I did get baited into a political discussion. So I, I really felt the, the power of Christmas. Hola, more. ¿Qué tal, Dios? Hoy viene la niñera. ¿Eh? Hoy puede evitar contar. Perpacho. Sí, dice usted que hay que probarlo. Hay que probarlo, lo siento. Yo sí voy a un sitio que no es mi país y veo paella española. Yo lo compro. Así que lo he visto y he dicho, hay que probarlo. Muy bien. ¿Qué te metido? No creo. ¿Qué sí? Con queso parmigiano. Parmigiano rellano. Oh, qué bonita. Te gusta. Mm, mira. La luz. Cambia un montón, eh. Sí, me he pintado completamente. Ya, ya lo veo, ya lo veo. Está muy guay. Ah. Qué bien, amor. Parece como mucho más real. Qué bonito. Es la empezada ahora. Por... ¿En serio? Es por el par, por el rito. Toda la cara. Vale, tengo que trabajar. Desde luego comiendo. Dame un beso, pero coño. <risa> Eso sí. Es claro. <risa> Te quiero también. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it's the Illuminati show. No, this chick started freaking saying she missed Franco. Franco the dictator. And she kept going for an hour at some point I was like look what the heck are you on about but we don't talk politics on Reaper Street so it doesn't matter all that happened is that I was baited into one conversation like that
А я стыдец. So Jennifer told me that after me and her left, because I had to come work here on, on my stream, her family just started watching my stream. Apparently they liked it. Before I move on to lighting up the blue more, the, the orange more, I want to do a bit more work on the blues. Because of course, I am lighting up in light because of the, the color of the OSL, but I also got to show the shape in shadow, which is another mistake that people tend to do when they paint OSL, they kind of forget about the, the shadow area and they leave it as that. You gotta illuminate that as well, because even in shadow, unless you are in the pitch darkness of Libidi Moria, you're gonna be able to see the shapes of things. No, they, they didn't, they didn't. I don't think they did. I don't think they, I don't know if they did. I don't even know if they understood me, you know, like... I don't know if they speak English. Maybe they only saw the painting and were like, oh, that's a nice paint job. It's very rare for people to like me after they, they speak the same language I do.
How are we looking so far? You guys liking this? I will clean up the sketch a little bit if I get if I have more time. But yeah, like even if you don't care about cleaning it up, the sketch look yeah looks nice. Hello, Matthew. How are you doing?
Okay, the trick here now is gonna be to focus the light more because we have done some good work in getting the lights, but I don't need all of this light everywhere. So as I get closer to the light source, I can make my orange more vibrant. But as I get away from it, I can make it weaker. And I can fix this very simply with a few glazes of color. So I don't really have to paint all of this. I can just glaze over. Okay, next step is to get the light of the torch to be lighter because we need the light source to light up. Otherwise, the light from the torch will be as strong as the light from that I'm painting on the OSL. And that is a problem because whenever you're painting an object source light like this, the light source must be lighter than the lights you're painting, with the exception of non-metallic. Non-metallic can be lit all the way up to white pretty much as well, but only as a final light. Okay, speaking of it, let's, let's do it. Kind of funny, but we're not really that far from being done. <laughs> Should have slowed down a bit.
Okay. For the shadows hours, do you go with shadowy colors of, of the items they are? No. No, because they are in shadow, so there isn't enough light to inform on what is the color of the object. It's like, uh, imagine being in your bedroom, right? And uh, you turn off the lights and you look around your room. You're going to be able to see shapes. And you're gonna be able to see like the 3 dness of things, but they don't have any color, no matter what they are. They are effectively shades of very dark gray. In art, we interpret that very dark gray using blues, because very dark gray is kind of ugly to look at. So we use blue in, in artistical endeavors, although it, it's not realistic. But it just works so well because when you have an orange, yellow light, the blue in contrast against it look perfect because they work really well off of one another. So it's almost a no-brainer to be using uh, blue. It also depends on the intensity of the OSL and uh, if there is or not a normal light. I'm actually surprised that to troll me, nobody ever song requested these songs during my song request days. I guess it's difficult to know the title of them, and I sure as I can not gonna tell you. If only, yeah.
I mean, honestly, I think it's pretty good. Brand new to the hobby, would it be too much of an inconvenience to explain what you're doing and why? Trying to learn everything I can. Well, what I'm doing is a technique in general. It's not really a technique, but like it's an a, it's it's a form of painting, if you want to call it that way, called OSL or object source lighting. So that means that I'm trying to create the illusion that this torch, in this case, is creating and casting a light on our guy. So I am illuminating the torch with very bright colors and also illuminating the guy as well to make him look like he's being lit by the color of the torch, which would be like a fiery orange. Uh, as for the techniques I'm using, I, I have a very um, rapid way of painting which involves sketching so the way I paint and when they upload this on YouTube you'll be able to you'll be able to watch the full video of today because I am making an effort on these Reaper streams to start and finish the mini in one go so people get uh, the YouTube video of the entire paint job in one setting. And so the entire painting of this guy is done today, basically in the last hour. And you'll be able to see that my way of painting is sketch-based. Yes, very fake. I love Reaper paints as well, Jay. Hello, Tavern. How you doing, dude? And yeah, so that the idea is that uh, I block in my colors with base coats to get an idea of what I want them to be, if the color that I'm go using is the one that I like, if, the, if it's bright enough or dark enough for what I'm doing. And once I have the colors blocked in from the sketching, I will work on blending. Now, my way of blending is actually, and in this case, I can say it, is extremely personal in a sense that I don't know anybody that plans the way I do with the with the painting consistency. Maybe I mean it's not that I invented it or anything, but like it's just like my way of doing it, which is very uncommon because I blend with base coats. Uh, so even when I am blending, like in this case, the paint is actually a base coat consistency, but. I manage the quantity of the paint on the brush and the, the strength that I put in the brush stroke to give me actually a blend. It's 
it's a bit difficult to explain in a, in a short time, but that, that, that was it. So right now I'm going between my blending method and glazing. Glazing is when you is when you thin the paint a lot with water. And this is for example what I'm doing here is a glaze. When you thin the paint a lot and you apply it to filter down the colors that you're putting on to either add the saturation, which means uh, increasing the power of the color or darken it usually, that's, that's how it's done. So in this case, I'm trying to get the orange to move around a little bit more on these on this leggings here. And because I want more, basically the, the reason, the objective is that I want more light from the OSL to hit these chains. So in order for the light to hit the chains, I need to lower it a little bit. Something like that. Are you mixing different colors? Yes, I always mix. My way of painting is... Are you Czech? No, I'm Italian. Um, my way of painting is entirely based on mixing. For example, uh, this model that I painted today, the skin tone is done with basically two colors. Two colors and, uh, and black and white. And everything I do is done like that. Very, I don't have many different paint pots, but I do mix them together to get the result I want. Yeah, I do. I do have a Patreon where I teach painting, so you can you can really get into the, the knowledge of my method if you want to from there. But you can just ask me question here. I am I'm more than happy to answer question. Like I, I I do enjoy them. So if you guys have anything you want to talk about, just ask me. Again, now I am doing the glaze that I mentioned before with a very strong orange color because I'm feeling like my color is doing a good job in being lit up and it's also doing a pretty good job in being shaded in a sense that I have a good brownish orange color in shadow but I am missing like an intense orange color as a midterm basically which is pretty normal because when you are sketching as heavily as I do and you're painting as quickly as I do, you tend to lose the midtone a lot. So what I'm doing is just going back to the model and reshaping the midtone a bit. It's not really that much work, it's very simple, just, uh, just glazing. And it is gonna be giving me a lot more color as we go.
I've not just painted my second mini, I want to do some orcs, but I'm trying to figure out the process of layering the tones so the muscles are highlighted. I don't know if lighting and layering are the same thing or two totally different things. I've asked several people and they all give a different answer. Well, the, the answer is only one, and the answer is uh, no. Layering is uh, a way of applying paint, highlighting is uh, an objective. If anybody has given you an answer that isn't this one, they are an idiot. So don't listen to them for painting advices anymore. I, 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 I'm sorry to sound offensive, but I don't like... Uh, I, 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 whatever. Anyway, that's what it is. So basically, layering is this. When you, when you have... When you have uh, uh, a color that is painted, and uh, either with the use of a darker color or a lighter color, you apply a consistency of paint that is not quite base coat, in the sense that the paint doesn't cover fully, but it's a little bit thinner, so that the paint doesn't leave a complete mark that is covering entirely, but rather shows a bit of the color underneath. This is what layering is, and it's used to achieve smoothness between colors, because if you do it well enough, you can make two color gradients into one another very neatly. It's not the only way to blend, because that's what layering is about. Layering is about blending. It's not the only way to generate a blend, but it is one way to do it. Highlighting is when you are using higher value, and by value, value is an artistical term, which means uh, the, the, the value of light, which is a light color or a dark color. A black can be, is the darkest value, a white is the lightest value. The grays in between are several different levels of value. Highlighting is when you are increasing the value of a color by adding white or a form of highlighting. White is the simplest but not the most used. And uh, to create a light. That light needs to be then applied on a volume, which is the 3D shape that you're painting right now. For example, this torch, simplified, is a cylinder. So the, the volume of the torch is cylindrical and my highlight will follow that volume in the way I apply it. But highlighting is not a technique. Highlighting is a way to explain what the viewer is going to be looking at, which is the miniature. Layering is just a way of putting paint on the model. So, I, I mean, I don't want to sound offensive, but I do mean it. The people who gave you any answer that has anything to do with the fact that uh, layering is, a, is the same as highlighting, do not listen to them anymore when it comes to how to paint miniatures. Because they clearly have no idea what they're talking about and they might just fill your head with wrong ideas. Which happens a lot in this hobby, in the sense that we have... Uh, like, as long as you paint as long as you own a paintbrush and a webcam, you can be a, a, an influencer in this, in this hobby. So there's a lot of people saying a lot of things that are very wrong. Higher value of a color is a lighter version of the color, basically? Yes. Layering to the lighter color at the top. It, the layering is not necessarily to light up though. You can layer down into shadow. Ah, oh, thank you, Taverna. Thank you, dude.
Okay. I reckon it looks pretty good. I'm li I am like this dude. Ah, it's a nice little puppet. It's okay, don't worry. You can just ask questions, man. Exactly.
If I give you this guy on a black background, you're gonna appreciate even more, I think, the painting. Let me see, do I have anything black? I should, I should always stream with it. How do my other model look like? Maybe I should always use this background to paint. of a difference but in the OSL you can see it. Alright, you know like I think I'm just gonna call it a day. Because uh the dude is finished. I don't have much more to do on this guy, so why make it any longer than it has to be, right? Right? Yeah, I think I think it makes sense. Rather than, rather than pushing it into the two hours for no reason, because the puppet is finished, people can just enjoy watching this one hour page and maybe follow it along. Alright, so, uh, nothing. I'll be seeing you guys uh, Friday on my own stream. Gonna be, gonna be continue working on this lady here that I've been, I've been doing some work on today. Still a lot more work needed. But I, I, I like it because I got like a nice shadow, casted shadow here on the nose as well. So you can see that the sketch is coming along a little bit. Got the leather kind of painted up a little bit more. So I'm liking this thing. So I'll be continue working on this guy lady. So if you want to, you can join me on my Twitch stream. The link is in chat. Quindly used it. And I'll be also finishing this guy tomorrow for the Patreon. You can join that one as well if you would like, where uh, I post pictures of my puppets that I paint on Patreon. All right, nothing. See you later, guys. Have a good one. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for the chats. Thank you for the company. Thank you for everything. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.